Question. A nurse is caring for a post-operative patient who suddenly becomes pale, diaphoretic, and hypotensive. The nurse notes the patient's heart rate has increased to 130 BPM, and the surgical dressing appears saturated with fresh blood. Step 1. What is the nurse's priority immediate action? A. Apply firm pressure to the surgical site and call for assistance. B. Administer an IV bolus of normal saline as prescribed. C. Elevate the head of the bed to improve breathing. D. Increase the oxygen flow rate to 10 liter per min via face mask. E. Assess the patient's pain level using a 0 to 10 scale. F. Document the findings and notify the physician after reassessment. Step 2. After performing the priority action, what should the nurse do next to prevent further deterioration? A. Notify the surgeon and prepare for possible return to the operating room. B. Reassess the vital signs every hour. C. Administer a PRN analgesic for comfort. D. Encourage oral fluid intake to maintain hydration. E. Change the dressing to a dry sterile one. F. Position the patient in High Fowler's position. Answer. Step 1. A. Apply firm pressure to the surgical site and call for assistance. Step 2. A. Notify the surgeon and prepare for possible return to the operating room. Rationale. The patient's symptoms, pallor, diaphoresis, tachycardia, and hypotension with a blood-soaked dressing, indicate active postoperative hemorrhage. The nurse must first apply firm pressure to the bleeding site and call for immediate help to control blood loss. Once bleeding control is initiated, the surgeon must be notified immediately, and preparations for surgical intervention or transfusion should begin. Administering four fluids or oxygen may support perfusion, but they do not address the source of bleeding, making them secondary interventions.